These were our nicknames, and Puhaj, um, this was a very abstract choice. On top of that, we are using uh, also some sounds, some samples, and also some uh, little toys that imitate birds. in Copenhagen. I have been living there for eight years now and Kaya was coming to play and spontaneously we started setting up a session to play together, improvise and then gradually work on specific things which led to playing more. <laughs> going to a conservatory in Copenhagen that a lot uh, some years ago has changed profile to kind of an art school which is based uh, on the music field but uh, it's very welcome to be experimenting already when you enter and they just uh, expect from you that you are already an artist in a way or have your own idea and direction and identity when you already apply so it's nothing of a classical or jazz school anymore but I was studying classical percussion in a music school before in Poland and for Kaya it's a bit different yeah I I studied jazz in the Netherlands um, that was jazz piano and then when I moved to Amsterdam well because this was first in Groningen in another town in, in the Netherlands and then I moved to Amsterdam where I studied classical composition and um, there I met a bunch of really nice musicians from the improvised music scene, more experimental music scene and somehow studying composition and having this um, uh, like the aesthetic of, of contemporary music is not so far from the aesthetic of, let's say, improvised music or more experimental uh, music. So um, somehow this went very well together and from playing more or less jazz, um, I kind of slowly segued into more yeah, improvised music or uh, contemporary music. So it kind of happened naturally and also by coincidence that I, w I met with these people. <laughs> Thank you. 
the point that we recorded the album Bivalishcha. This was uh, a lot about having small uh, compositions or motifs that we were using and then combining this with uh, improvisation uh, live. However, at the moment we don't really use those. So we improvise and we also have some songs or actually a song that we just uh, play in between. So yeah, but I think also this um, compositions that or the concepts that we were using as a kind of starting point, they are helping us. They or they helped us find a kind of sound for the group that we are now just developing. So it's developing something quite particular. Um, and already when we started the duo, we were really aware of at least what we don't want to sound like. So we were trying to find a way. Um, around that and and so yeah those concepts or the, the uh, sort of um, guided improvisations or sometimes very particularly composed pieces they helped us uh, sort of distill the sounds that we that we now use or the elements that we use now. come perhaps from acoustic music but yet we want to expand it by using electronics and voice also and then I use autotune on the voice which brings for me this modern aesthetics why do you do why did you do it how how do you think about it and for me it's just a spontaneous gesture within this uh, fact that free improvisation or free jazz or or whatever you describe it should be really free so if you want to make a song on four chords it should be allowed not that you only have to play sonoristic uh, or uh, at a tonal or it should be all allowed for me, at least, um, actually moving to Copenhagen changed something in a way, at least that I approached this group. Because before, I was I really wasn't using no electronics, no keyboard. I didn't I didn't really imagine myself doing that. I didn't imagine using. Um, yeah, so I think. Copenhagen actually inspires me a bit uh, in this uh, for for the music that we do like the stuff I see there stuff that people do there Having people around or the space, the sound, everything influences what we play um, very much because the sound really informs, at least it informs me what I can do. Even the instrument also gives me some inspiration or, or it, it makes me search for things that work. <laughs> Yeah. 
improvise is also to be like a child to get rid of uh, prejudices and presumptions of that uh, it's mostly adults that have them. So just be open in the moment and react in the spontaneous way that uh, I guess uh, child child uh, characteristics. Thank you very much, uh, Slava, for the invitation and all the A4 team.